exactly what the battery light is. Now this is an adjustment I believe to um, make it stronger so we can hear the fan sound getting louder. Well, I really wish it was cooler than this, and I'm it goes sure down. there's a way. So I tried both the of these QR um, codes, which will actually lead me to the... Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to your host, LJP Tech. Well, 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 so what do we have here? This is the Galaxy Z Flip 4. I believe I actually ordered the uh, standard rose gold color because I love gold color. So those who want to find out how it looks, please do continue watching this video. So just so you know, I've actually been using the Galaxy Z Fold 3 for almost a year now. And I just want to share my logic on why I would rather go for a cheaper, smaller flip phone rather than continuing with the Fold series. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. Here it goes. Okay, so let's cut the seal first. Do not accept if this seal is opened up. Okay, pull it out what's happening in here. We've got the pin, the usual manual, quick start guide actually, and some booklets. Very good quality USB-C cable as usual. So this is the USB-C to a USB-C cable, the rose gold. So let's unwrap that as well to peel it. Man, that feels really good. I just love that quality. Gold trimming as well. Rose gold, should we say? That's really nice because this doesn't feel like rose gold, but the actual frame itself. Oh, the closing is really firm. It's totally different, much stronger gripped uh, folding experience comparing to the Z Fold 3 that I had. The width is already bigger than the Z Fold 3. So comparing to my wife's iPhone 12 Pro, look at that. That is just beautiful proportion, isn't it? It's actually taller. And I think the thickness is literally the same. I mean, this one looks bigger because it has the transparent case. So it's taller and it could actually fold. So flip, should we say, and it also becomes almost the half of the size and that's beautiful ah look at that samsung galaxy oh here it goes should we start with korea no okay let's go for english okay start united kingdom agree all brexit means brexit service provider setup okay so restart you can actually have eSIM mobile plans as well all right so let's copy apps and data obviously the source will be the Galaxy. So let's use the cable. Okay, so it's connected. Let the juice go through. Fingerprint added as well. So that two fingerprints are being added. Google gets really paranoid. So it and Samsung as well. It's like sending you all these emails. So probably you're gonna get about five or six emails for all this transaction. Okay. So now it's all set up nicely. Let's get into the brass tacks. So uh, just so you know, it took about two hours to transfer all the data. So please do bear that in mind. So if you're an owner of a Z Fold series, you'll definitely agree with me when it comes to YouTube or perhaps many apps. Uh, Z Fold is a very unique phone. So it's not really designed to follow the standard uh, portion of the screen for the rest of the phones because as you can see uh, the Z Flip 4 is the same width as iPhone so that somehow works very well with the rest of the phone but I'm sure there's going to be a bit of gap on the top and the bottom but when it comes to fold let's look at one of the shorts video to start with so this is one of the most viewed video um, with, of my channel which is a short video you will notice that there is a black screen on both end uh, that doesn't really do any purpose because um, Z Fold series is trying to fit the top and the bottom in the right portion that's why obviously you're going to get a um, black screen on both 
and if you actually flip it it gets worse because it's shorter so you get almost like third of the overall size now this is another problem if you actually fold it look at that so it's not quite your view a portion is not really enjoyable sometimes you wish you could do that but then again because when you fold it it's too um you know it's not that wide it's actually quite thin therefore you actually lose the detail on both of these ends so this becomes a really nuisance for long term so that's why you started to feel like well is it really worth paying money for that and like for example the youtube if you go back to one of my uh, videos for example this one you're very likely to watch the video like this i mean if you really really want to enjoy it perhaps you're going to do the full screen but look at that you still get that sort of cinematic sort of effect and if you really want to do that you lose the detail uh, for expanding into that if you were to compare it with the uh, flip 4 the size is pretty much the same width as you can see here um, but flip 4 you can do zoom out but it it's a less of a loss on the top and the bottom of the screen that's why you're going to enjoy more on the flip Four or any of the flip series well as um, Z fold series if you were to zoom in look at that that's how much of a loss you're almost losing about a third or the quarter of the whole video so this is not really ideal so you're starting thinking really is there a point doing this you can't even scroll the video um, on YouTube and so on so you st started to actually lean towards to the flip phone series for example in here this is the flip 4 so I really appreciate the fact that this works much better and it's actually cheaper so since I got the case out let's actually compare the size here so if we were to fold it for the fold uh, Z Fold 3 you can see that the flip 4 is slightly taller and wider as well this is the same width as shown early on as the iPhone uh, 12 13 or probably 14 as well um, unless it's a pro and um, if you were to fold it look at that you can see that the uh, Z flip 4 is thicker and quite rightly for the reason behind it and um, the huge advantage is this people this is exactly why you should get a flip 4 um, this will be easily uh, fitted into your pocket while as the fold uh, series once you start having these cases it's going to thicken up twice and it almost starts to feel like a brick i mean if you actually risk yourself by not applying any of the cases this is a really nice feeling but still the biggest problem is the screen portion especially when it comes to front it's too thin now this is really really annoying i don't understand why this is happening but i'm actually leaning towards not the fault of google but towards to samsung is that let's say if i open up the google um, search box okay fold it because this is most likely how i'm going to start doing search and so on and then let's say if i type in ljp tech and this is when the uh, fold phone is folded now if you press these that's all fine it all works perfectly fine but let's say if then if i were to open it up and continue my journey this is where it gets really annoying did you see that I just trying to press news and you go back to the search okay so let's press x on it and just go back again this just is really a nightmare here, here it goes i just press images and it goes to the search um, box again so let's just go back again so shopping why am i keep going back to the search i'm actually trying to press the shopping but it's just nightmare to just use it i just can't use it at all unless i have to shut it down and open up into a new search box then it will work properly which is just really annoying why can't samsung actually update it so so that this sort of problem does not persist so i hope this video explained to you why i really look forward to using the flip series than staying with the fold series now um, i guess there's a lot of advantage using the fold that you get so many different sort of options and separate screens and so on but i'm really a 
heavy user on YouTube, probably about 90% or 80% of my activity using this smartphone, sadly, is focusing on YouTube, looking at statistics or maybe stocks and so on. But many apps, um, when you actually use it uh, based on default, is that it's not proportionally right. You can see that the apps has been deliberately stretched and um, I'm sure that's actually going to happen on the Flip 4 but it's going to be less of a hassle and I actually thought about why this is happening and quite easily is that um, all these um, companies, the way how they design apps and everything that the way how they design the layout is based on Apple or similar size to Apple because many companies trying to follow the examples of the Apple while as Samsung models which I really love is way ahead we're yet to see Apple's uh, 14 series that doesn't even fold, it just stays the same, just a bit of an upgrade here and there, same cameras and so on. But Samsung, they're probably too um, you know, advanced that so many people are finding it difficult to follow through with their advancement, if you see what I mean. And um, again, like why, well, to look back to my personal reason why I actually bought uh, the Z Fold 3 is that I just want to show off, I guess, that I'm a techie guy. It's like people do look at you when you're actually in a public space. And also, um, like for YouTube reviews as well, but for the practicality, I would actually definitely recommend the Z Flip 4 at this stage. Uh, but yet again, because it's longer than the iPhone shape, you, you will still experience a bit of a uh, gap on the top and the bottom, but all you need to do is a bit of a stretch so it's less of a hassle. But you do enjoy a bigger screen and also the way how it falls and the texture itself is just brilliant. So um, overall, I'm very happy with Z Flip 4. Let's see how it goes for after a year and so on, but I'm sure this is easily going to be better than any other phones that is available out there. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.